Digital marketing is an ongoing process. Therefore, it is always useful to break down your calendar year into specific timelines which could be used to reflect on the processes and procedures being used by an organization. So therefore, if an organization has a certain season, so for example quarters or winter sales or any product launches around the particular product launch, the campaign about that, and then whenever the campaign is finished, it's very useful for you to go back and reflect on what worked and what didn't. And it is essential to write those things down because next time a similar product or campaign will be launched, that plan could be reused and applied for future projects. So, what does a complaint plan comprise of? So, first of all, you have time constraints, you have the resources, you have the scope, and the last but not least is the quality expectations. If your resources are not available or if your time is too short, you can appreciate that your scope and all the other components will be uh, squeezed as well. This is also referred to as the project management triangle. In digital marketing, what we do is we try and use project management techniques because it is a complex process and it is always evolving. And we try and learn on, from every project and feed into the future projects to come. So we launch our campaigns and our digital marketing activity around um, conferences and exhibitions where we know there's going to be a lot of digital marketing, marketing activity and noise from social media activity, you know, through Twitter, through Facebook and through LinkedIn, where we can really promote our research and our digital activity, um, you know, amongst all of the promotion that goes on. It, it doesn't get lost because we do everything that complements and is relevant to what our candidates that base is after you know so ultimately people in digital marketing are looking for digital marketing roles and therefore the research that we release and the content that we have on our site and the different pull mechanisms to bring people to the site and apply for jobs all fits in quite naturally with the different um, elements that are going on at those conferences and exhibitions so we use as an SME other bigger opportunities and other bigger um, areas and events as a vehicle really to give us even more promotion, more PR and therefore more of a response from our digital marketing activities which works really well. You know first of all you have to see uh, what is the available budget but also what is the budget you have to have. Let's say if you are in a competitive industry okay, because search uh, is working like a stock market, okay? It's based on how much you are willing to pay. It's based on bidding and relevance, of course. So, uh, you can see which is the average spending of your competitor. So, if your competitor, let's say, spends more than 10k per month, okay, and you don't have this amount of money, it's like, you know, dropping your money out of the window. So, you have to find something alternative. So, if we know the budget and we know uh, what is the spending of our competitors, we can find, you know, alternative channels.